Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's just a beautiful day today. Anyway, um, what I got going on is my uh, it's my uh, turbo water drain line, and uh, I have made this up. This is more like a round stock that I've just put some holes in it and thread it in, and I happen to have this uh, fitting that I got for my fuel filter but I ended up using it here that way I don't have to buy anything so I'm gonna mock this up how I want it to be and since I got my uh, welding equipment all set up there I said might as well do this one while I'm still waiting for another fitting banjo fitting that's what I'm waiting on so I wanted to put it right here that's where I want it now hopefully the way it's gonna be routed that the water will flow as it should be I know on a B series they have those fitting that they could add a, a fitting here then they, they can use it to uh, to tap into so they can run it to their turbo and everything and then it goes to the radiator and there's the fitting right here right there so hopefully it'll does the same so since the water flows this way and hopefully it's enough water pressure to push the water to go in and into the turbo so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to weld it we'll see how it goes Yeah, I couldn't put it here like this because it hangs so much. So I'd rather have it at the, at the bottom like that. So I just have to make sure that this thing it's all cleaned. That'll be a waste of $150 if I mess this up. Yeah. I don't want this thing to leak. I don't care if it has a gold ball on there. Yeah. I'm just gonna need to uh, re tap it again. But, here we go. Again, it's not the prettiest one, but uh, I think it's not gonna leak. That's all I care about. It's not leaking. All right, now the lines will be next. I 
I should put an on o-ring on this fitting, but uh, if it leaks, it has that crush gasket. So if it leaks, I'm going to uh, put a o-ring on there. Since I got this fitting all welded up and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, measured up some uh, some of my uh, PTFE lines for my turbo. As I have uh, explained it before, from what I think, since the water pump is running, this one here will be pressurized, so the water will flow. I think that's what I'm hoping through here pumps out here it snake out right here by the radiator and then this will be the entry the outlet will be here and then it's loop then it goes back to the radiator right there that fitting there's a plug I think that was a drain plug or something so I got some of all the parts except for the 4AN oil feed that's all but that's okay. All I wanted to show you is just my uh, water cooling lines. And this is what I'm gonna use for the drain plug, which is, this is a DAS 6 and a 6 ORB. And for some of you guys that uh, don't know what ORB means, it's a O-ring, O-ring base. That's all. And this one, I already cut this one. I'm using the stainless braided uh, lines. I think it's just, it can withstand more than the nylon one, I think. Plus, I, I this elbow right here also, I don't like the aluminum being on the hot side. So I think this will be, it can withstand more heat, I think. Plus, I'm going to uh, put some uh, some uh, heat shield on this like a sleeve and I ordered some PTFE uh, nylon braided lines but uh, I think I'm gonna save this for uh, for fuel or something yeah I'd rather cut this one this thing comes with all of this hardware uh, 2 in 2 290's uh, 245 and 2 straight ones and also it come with this tool which is pretty neat this one you you put it on the uh, you know right after you uh, you cut it because the teflon will be deformed and you use this to bring it back to its normal state kind of neat so i'm just gonna measure one for my inlet and that's what i'm gonna do now on the inlet side i'm gonna i ordered one of these this is what I'm going to use, a fitting over a fitting. The, I could use a 45 degree, but I'll show you why I chose to use the, an adapter instead, rather than a hose end fitting. This will give me a little uh, um, shorter. It, there's not a, not a whole lot of gap here, rather than this one. This one, it hangs down low so much. Right there. So we're talking about half an inch or something. That's why I got that one. Then I'm, I'm going to use a straight. Now here, I'm going to use... I could use a, uh, a straight also, but I'm going to use the straight one for something else. I'm going to use a 45 degree. That way, the lines... Uh, the line, the hose will be away from the turbo, away from the heat. So let's go and uh, let me show you as far as like uh, that one line. Okay. 
I'm just gonna leave it a uh, balloon right inside the uh, or we'll see if I can I, I don't want to uh, bend right in this area so much I don't want to put a bend on here so much where I'm going to uh, kink the lines or something but I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put a tire up here and a tire up here somewhere then I'm just gonna cut right here and then connect when you cut one of these always put a, a tape because that stainless braided line is gonna unlaced on you make it tight trim the excess And you could easily get, get hurt on this thing. Like you can poke yourself. Okay. And we're gonna put an extra uh, electrical tape on it so. Uh, make sure it's tight. the fourth the, the straight I'm going to use the straight and the olive I don't know why they call it olive so I just kind of uh, twist it to get in there Man, see that's the reason behind the electrical tape. Okay, now I'm going to remove the, the tape. Okay, and I'm going to put the olive. Take a pipe, put it on there. Just want to make sure okay I'm on there squarely yeah I no longer have a step okay. so now I'm gonna just put a WD-40 on this or a Vaseline or whatever you have and put the tool So as you can see, it's all mated, like that. So now the back end. And just rotate it. There. This ORB. My dad's six. I don't know if you guys could uh, will be able to see it. Can you? I put some lubricant on the orange on the seal. This one's swivel. So I think I can just go ahead and. 
tighten it or something. Make sure it's tight. Now this will be my uh, outlet. Okay, so now the bottom. Right here. Yeah. I'm gonna clamp it. Let's give it that. And this one. Okay, now just put the tire up here, good to go. And that's how I installed my water cooling lines for my turbo. Hopefully it will recirculate once the motor is uh, shut down. You know what they said, uh, it goes by convection. Because I got the turbo as instructed. That's per Garrett. It's like about, I think 17, uh, 17 degrees, I think. Yeah, like so. And also this is the return line that it's, it's higher. And the return line, it goes to my radiator right there. That is by using a dash 6 AN to 6 ORB. And this is my uh, inlet coming from my uh, water neck. And it shoots out. I, I'm, I just put a, a, a sleeve on there just so it'll uh, be uniform. And then over here, I'll put a heat, uh, heat sleeve on here. That will protect it from, uh, you know, extreme uh, heat. Cool. I like it. I hope you guys like this one, this episode. And it's been a long time for me to, uh, figuring it out. You know, like ordering the parts and everything. And finally, I even... I don't know if I ruined my uh, <laughs> my water neck by doing so, but I really put this in good use, and hopefully it will work. And I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye bye.